Hi everyone, I just wanted to do a, a really quick uh, review of this uh, Lorex camera here. I plan on doing another episode, uh, I'm going to order a couple more cameras. Uh, but anyways, this is their, uh, the Lorex Wireless. It's a 720p. Uh, it's a touch screen uh, unit. It comes with this. And uh, the model is LW27728. Um, generally speaking, overall impression it's not that bad. It's extremely easy to set up. Um, I'll give it that. Uh, basically the, the cameras are wireless. Find some good locations. Mount them. You're gonna have to be within a, probably 10 feet of a, a plug-in or an outlet. Has a little uh, trans adapter that comes with it to uh, power the camera. So you get the camera and the power adapter and a little bit of wire. Um, so basically So it comes with this this screen. It's a it's a seven inch screen, as I said. It's a touch screen. Uh, the cameras they claim are uh, weather resistant. Uh, however, just from my observation, I, you want to keep them in a protected area. I, they're not waterproof or total totally weather. You know, they're weather resistant. So um, they do have an app for it. Uh, the app I've tried it a little bit. I'm not satisfied with the app. I can't really review it until I work with it some more and figure out if I'm doing something wrong or whatever. Um, but it has uh, all sorts of features. I mean, you can manually record things. You can set it to record uh, when it picks up motion. Uh, you can schedule recording. Uh, really neat feature, um, especially maybe for someone who has kids or a, or a baby's room. Um, all the cameras have a microphone in them, so when you're focused in on a camera, um, you can hear all, all the sounds. You can adjust the volume, of course, um, but it's a super sensitive microphone. You can hear everything. In fact, I have a camera downstairs. When I focus in on that camera, it can actually hear me upstairs walking around, so that's how sensitive they are. And, to top that off, you have two-way communication. So there's a talk button over here, uh, you can press it and uh, you can talk to whoever you see on, on your camera or whatever room you're in or whatever. Um, it comes with two cameras, expandable to four, as I said, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go after the other two cameras. Um, it does come, uh, it's self-contained, so it comes with a, an SD card. Uh, this one anyway came with it, it's just a small 8 gig, but it's managed to go for a week uh, recording whenever it senses motion um, and you can put in up to a 64 uh, gig card in there and what else I generally speaking I'm I'm satisfied with it um, I mean I did want to go for you know the big uh, network cameras and maybe a DVR camera but you know for at home for what it's doing working fine for me so at this point I'd recommend it I'll do another video I'm gonna have to order the camera so I don't know when I'll do the next video but um, so we can go through that that process and if it's difficult to to pair up new cameras I'll give you just a quick rundown of the screens um, you have a menu screen uh, it's really easy to set up as I said uh, camera setup you can change uh, the sensitivity on the motion uh, you can also switch the cameras to either VGA or uh, high definition. Each one has a has an advantage, so don't get uh, confused with that one. Um, I'll explain that further when I get the new cameras. Um, but yeah, setting it up was a piece of cake. You just put the date and time in there, time zone, what language, uh, format your memory card. No big deal. Easy as pie. Um, and let's see, you can, like it's a touch screen, so you can go to your other cameras. This is my one in the basement. It's on night vision right now. So yeah, it does have night vision. Um, that's downstairs. This, it looks really bluish in the video, but it's, the picture is much better. I mean, I'm taking a picture of a picture. And we can go back here and focus in on this camera. And the neatest thing is that I found with this, what I really like the most is you can hit the, there's a button up here 
and it goes into scan mode. And so there's no noise, there's no sound coming from it. It's just sitting there like a blank screen. Uh, but as soon as it senses some motion, uh, the unit will beep. It has an, uh, an alert on it. And you can adjust that volume also. So if it's really loud when it senses some motion to, you know, wake you up. Or you can turn it all the way, you know, incrementally right off. So that's pretty cool. That's I use it the most in that scan mode where it just sits there blank. And uh, if I hear the beep and it comes on, uh, most times it's there's, you know, someone there or something has triggered it. Uh, there's another mode here where it's flipping between each camera. You can see that. Or, let's go back to the twin view. In twin view, you don't have any um, audio on either one of them. If you need to talk to someone who's outside here, you have to go to that screen. Uh, voila, and then you can talk. And it also has manual recording. Um, you just have to hit the Hit the little record button up there. You can turn recording right off by pressing. There's a little little icon down there. I'm not sure if you can see it. Uh, when it's red, that means it's ready to go. And you can also hook it up to your network for that app. But um, as I said, I'll I'll review that later when I get that more sorted out. Not happy with the app, but it kind of works. All right. Uh, if you have any specific questions, uh, leave a comment and. You know, subscribe to my channel if you want to get an update in a couple weeks uh, when I finally get some new cameras. Alright, take care, have a great day.